everyone, I'm Chaz here with Board Game Geek, joined by Michael from Copper Frog Games, Hello. and we are going to carve out some time to look at Chiseled. So, what is uh, Chiseled all about? So, Chiseled is a deck sculpting card game uh, for one to four players, plays in about 20, 30 minutes. In it, you are sculptors in a shared studio, uh, working to complete your sculptures, your deck of cards. Okay. Uh, from block of marble to fine work of art before the critics arrive. Oh, okay. In each game, we'll have three critics from across history who each like certain things in your sculpture. Okay. As we play through, we'll be adding um, nothing to our sculptures because a block of marble is just waiting to have the art revealed. Just, just it's in there, we need to go and release it. Exactly. Okay. So to do so, we'll be using a shared set of tools. In a one to three player game, you use seven of the nine. Okay. In a four player game, you use all nine. Okay, how do we use them? So on your turn, every player will first off start with their own sculpture deck. Okay, like I would have this one? Yep. All right. And then we'll have our little countdown timer set to five. Okay. Oh, so, that's, okay, yep. I, I see the And as across. the critics start noticing that your sculpture is getting uh, completed, they'll mm -hmm. get closer and closer until eventually they arrive and rate your sculpture. Okay. Each one likes having certain things out of your discard pile, out of your sculpture. So if your trash pile contains at least five gold, you have four. Okay. If it contains more silver than black, you have four. Okay. At least five silver, etc. And of course, the critics can't like all the same things. Right. Okay. But yeah. uh, the backs will also include a oh. little scoring guide, which explains how the different body parts in the game score. Okay. Um, each body part is scored differently and separately. Um, you've got things like bodies. These score between zero and four artistry points, AP. Okay. Um, as opposed to victory points, so those are boring. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you've seen them so many times. Um, but the more you have in your trash, um, that affects how many points they score. So heads, you want to keep all of these cards in your deck. Uh, bodies, you want to get nice, a nice sweet spot between four and five so that you can maximize the amount that they're worth. Arms, you need to remove at least five from your deck. The okay. rest that remain are worth three. But if you get rid of all of them, of course, you lose to mile of yourself and your <laughs> you zero mean, points. Uh, how many days have gone by? I've told yep. myself, don't Venus to Milo yourself. Yep. Okay. So how, does, so, how, yeah, how do we... So this is your 45-card uh, block of marble. Okay. It contains nine each of arms, heads, bodies, um, and of those, nine are black, silver, gold. So okay. onyx, silver, gold. Those are the kind of accents which also determine the subject of the... Okay, and it's also cards. what the critics so, like, are looking for. you can see, for. like, we've got different heads for the different... People. Okay. So like this okay. one would kind of go with that. Makes sense. Yep. So we have a lot between those. We have quite a bit of different variation between them yes. that can come up out of our deck. And then there's also scrap. Uh oh. Scrap is the ruined, oiled, cracked marble that you are trying to remove from your sculpture to increase its value. Every 45 card deck starts out at negative 10 points. It's real bad. Yeah. But by carefully using the tools available to you, uh, you can sculpt out and carve out and accentuate the remaining cards okay. to increase the value up to a maximum of 50. Okay, so from negative 10 up to 50, that's our range we're dealing yep. with Yep, and plus credit bonuses, plus depending credit. on how you go. All right. So on your turn, everyone will start with a hand of three cards, and um, you will then okay. choose to... Let's look at your hand. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's actually a good hand to get early on because oh, okay. uh, each of these tools let you interact with your hand or your deck in different ways. Okay. So, for instance, uh, I want to keep these okay. two cards here. for sure. Let's put your hand right here. So yeah, yeah. Um, so I want to keep these heads, but I want to get rid of some of the body cards. Okay. So maybe I'll use the pointy chisel. I can trash one hand from my card or my discard pile. Okay. So this will move to a separate trash pile. Okay, so that's outside of my deck. That got flipped because it's used. Yep. Okay. And when all of them have been flipped, we'll flip them all back over okay. and we'll start oh, the next player's Okay, turn. nice. So it's an action drafting system cool. plus deck destruction. Neat. So these then go to my discard pile, okay. and just like any other deck builder, I'll draw three more cards. Okay, so now yes. an important thing: mm -hmm. when you draw a hand after your starting hand mm -hmm. with at least three onyx, gold, or silver accented cards. Mm -hmm. This 
ticks down. Ah. So the more scrap you remove, the more polished your sculpture looks, the closer they get. Okay, okay. So yeah, let's take a look at my amazing uh, hand here, where I got yep. three of a kind. Yep. Uh, now if I wanted to try and get rid of this scrap, which yep. tools should I use to accomplish this? So there's a couple options available to you. Um, a good early one to use if you've got a lot of scrap mm -hmm. is the mallet. It trashes all the cards in your hand with a nice forceful whack. Okay, so let's say I did that. I'm yep. gonna use that. And so I'll you use flip. that, flip okay. that. These go to trash. my discard? Trash, specifically. Uh, trash, specifically. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna pretend yep. it's a trash up there. Why not? Sure. Um, and then you'll draw three cards. Okay. After discarding your remaining hand, but you have none at that point. All right. All right, so it looks like you're going to rotate as well down to four. The critics are on their way. Yep, so. All right. You use that tool, so now I can't trash these all at once. However, there are other tools I can choose. For instance, the maquette is mm. what lets you plan. Okay. The maquette is like a small model that you use to plan your sculpture. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I will draw four cards okay. to add to my hand. Okay. I will trash two and then put the remainder on top of my deck in any order. Ah, oh, okay. So it lets me plan for my next hand plus a little beyond. Okay. Um, so I might trash like these two get some points, and then I might also trash, uh, let's do these silver bodies. Yes, some of the critics like having silver out of your deck. <laughs> so then these will okay. go, oops, sorry, well, we could trash one technically. Uh, these go back on the top of my deck in any order. I could choose to put them like this so that I would immediately rotate this down, okay. but I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to actually try and stack the deck in such a way ah. that I'll be able to know that this is on top. <laughs> That's coming next, yep. and you... So I put these on top, and your hand draw is, my three. Has enough variety in it that doesn't that cause does. the critics, because the critics know that you're still working yep. on it. So yeah, uh, so for the end game scoring, then your hand isn't as yeah. important. It's what's left in your deck? Right, it's so what's left in your deck, okay. and your discard pile, and your hand. So right. you would basically put all these together, mm -hmm. and then you can either sort it by discard pile, well, trash pile, or deck. Um, and the cards are designed to be very easy to sort, either by shape or by color. Oh, nice. Um, and yeah, the more scrap you remove, the higher your score. The more crazy you please, the better your art. It contains a single player score challenge mode, mm -hmm. as well as competitive one to four players. Um, well, two to four players, sorry. Um, we do have an expansion planned called Sinacera, which means without wax in Latin. Um, that refers to the idea of wax marble covering up blemishes, but in this case, if you use too much, mm -hmm. you're gonna get pe penalized for it. <laughs> so it's kind of take that mechanic where you can put wax marble into other players' decks. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Each one's worth a point, but if you have the most, they'll read negative point each. Okay, so in terms of uh, availability, when is uh, this and the expansion expected to be available in retail? So we are aiming for a Kickstarter release uh, Launch, sorry. <laughs> Kickstarter launch uh, late this spring. Okay. Uh, so pro probably a little bit after PAX East. Cool. We'll be demoing there. Um, so if players want to check it out, we'll be there all week. Excellent. Well, thank you, Michael, for thank sharing you. Chiseled with us. And uh, hopefully this can demonstrate how the game works. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk yeah, to you again soon. Thanks so much.